The city's huh? surface is covered in textures, showing where you are, who's hot, and who's not. Pixelated Shibuya. Wait, that's Noah <laughs> on the poster. Why? I wonder if there are actually like advertisements, like they paid for being in the game. Chameleon, maybe? Cryware is the engine, so... Cookie Spoon? Who knows? Lots of information. None of it meaningful. This restaurant's got a pretty high rating. I'm sick of these ads. I'm lowering my layer. That person's evaluation points are through the roof. They must be awfully sincere at heart. <laughs> really? Okay, I don't think I care about that. <sighs> what are we doing, Chloe? Trading company. Okay. Sure. Come down. Oh, it's a drink stand. Okay. <laughs> What's well, gonna be an expansion for Cryware? Sand Middleware Company. Oh shit, I thought it's a uh, graphical engine. Trees? With texture, the city was developed in concert with grey eyes to save resources. So it's all electronic then, I guess. About time to go. Okay. Oh. <sighs> yes, Noah. <laughs> I'm scanning you. Mental care now, okay. Began career as an idol two years ago. Oh, okay, that's why she's on the poster. Since her singing was found to be an antidepressant. Huh. You don't play well with others, do you? I was just about to sing my new victory song, too. Oh, it would have made everyone smile so much. You really are hopeless, Chloe. I don't need to apologize for shit. I mean, really. The mission is over. No point in sticking around. Yeah. You're just being cold. <laughs> I mean, what's Isn't new? Isn't bonding with your comrades part of the mission? I mean, think about when things get really dicey and you need to coordinate. What then? Shooting the breeze will help? Um, I mean... It sure will. Partners like us, we've really got to get to know each other. Come on, Chloe, put a smile on. Smiles <laughs> are step one of successful communication. Mm. Uh. <laughs> hey, don't leave me <laughs> hanging like that. I leave town for a few hours and there are even more trash textures once again. Oh, so there are trash textures. Okay. Not a hint of aesthetic sense in any of this. Information needs more class. More necessity. You're with me, right, Chloe? I wouldn't know. Textures are all the same to me. Ugh. Just turn off your layer if it's an eyesore. Oh. This should do it. Huh. Okay. There's so much my gray eye lets me see. But that's not all it's good for. Gray eye. So, in our language, it would be AR, layer of uh, another augmented reality. If I cover everyone else in textures, I won't have to look at what I don't need to. Chloe. Did you lower your layer level again? I can kind of sympathize. There are textures all over the place. What is this? Is this mandatory to have the layer on? And information needs to be able to disappear too. Share suspicion. 
Definitely. Able to disappear? Why the skepticism? Do you have to be so rude all the time? Like, would it kill you to realize just how lucky you are to have me around you all the time? Go on, open your sphere. This always happens the second I show up in town. I'm all anyone is talking about. Hey, isn't that Noah? Sphere? What about it? Uh, in uh, Ariadne. Right? No, that's opening. <laughs> yeah, that's Noah. Noah, sing us a song. Let's hear it. Sing for us. Greetings, everyone. A lovely evening, isn't it? Have you come all the way out here seeking stars? Or did you want to hear me sing? <laughs> well, if you want it that badly, I'll have to oblige. I'll sing then. I know that you need my song. Please don't it be copyrighted. It's time for a special concert. Oh my the god. Electric doll, Ark Noah! Look at me instead of the texture noise. My love is more real than anything you can touch. And it's right next to you. What? These hands are here to hold you. This voice is here to heal you. And I exist to be there for you. Let my song pour color into your lives. <sighs> Chloe? I'm leaving. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Don't come out over here in that form. Why are you leaving, Chloe? My <laughs> concert's about to start. <sighs> I've had my fill of your singing in the cockpit. That's a different kind of song. You'll only hear my angelic voice on the stage. Your voice? You're wrong. That's... <clears throat> huh? I'm not listening to you sing. That's not your voice. Is Noah based on the, the other character? You're just a fake Coco. Fake Coco. <laughs> sure. I was modeled after your best friend, Coco. Oh, okay. My eyes and voice are close to my original. But listen to me, Chloe. This voice of mine puts smiles on people's faces. Here and now. Not Coco's. No. Arc Noah's. They listen to my song and you can see it on their faces. They're on cloud nine. So how about you stop acting so stubborn and just listen? Smile, Chloe. The people want smiles. Smile, Chloe. The people want healing. If the guardian of the city is scowling like that, everyone's going to follow suit. Guardian of the city? Me? Don't be ridiculous. One look at me is all it takes for some people to avert their eyes. Anyway, enough of the chit chat. Just listen to me perform. It might be based on Coco's song. But give it a listen, and you might find I've already made it my own. How can you know you don't like it if you don't listen? Sorry, I'm not in the mood. Chloe? Chloe. Mm. Fabrications and falsehoods. What? I need neither. Is she turning every layer? Okay, so that's the reality. So it's pretty much the world in all the deals here is all about the layers. It's pretty much just this futuristic kind of vision of augmented reality. <sighs> Interesting. Everyone looks away from this empty city to gorge themselves in beautiful illusions. Mm -hmm. They all want to forget the meteoras rampaging on the surface. Forget that they're prisoners locked away in this dungeon underground. But I remember what Coco would always say. Yes. What you can see isn't all there is, Chloe. What you can see isn't all there is, Chloe. Yeah. 
That's what uh, argumented reality is. We need to touch what's really important. Feel its heat and realize the joy in that. Otherwise, you'll end up blind to what matters. I may be blind, Chloe, but I can see what is truly dear. Ah, I forgot she was blind. This city is a fake. Yes. A quiet room. Everything important has been put away. I don't want to accidentally break anything Coco loved. And if I let myself indulge in memories, looking at her old things, I may not get up again. Thinking back now is a little scary. I have to avenge her. Does this Machia consuming her was real? Or is it like part of the nightmare? I was in a dark space. The faraway light is sealed away on the other side of a wall. How can I get past this wall? Huh. Coco? Just my imagination? There was an electric music box here. Mm hmm. Right? Correct. It's Coco's electric music box. It hasn't been used for a while. <laughs> Pick this up. Mm. It doesn't work. Coco's things are all falling apart one after the other. Will they all just stop working? If I'm not around... No. It's still early. I may be able to fix it. Checking malfunctioning parts. Oh. The gears just stopped? Some grease <laughs> should fix this. I remember there was some grease meant for music boxes on the shelf around here. Fuck, I wish I could move and not just like, you know, pinpoint. I mean, it is an upgrade from Tokyo Chrono's interactivity system. But still... Not like, you know... Here it is. As it should be if in I VR. If I put this on the gears... <laughs> okay. Fixed. The song. It was. As the, time is the girl's voice filled the room. She was singing. I thought that. Anyway, I'd never seen someone sing before, so I couldn't make the call. I didn't know if I could say anything to her, so I just stood there in a daze, but I listened to her. Oh. Is someone there? Yes, hmm. Coco? Hey. <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ. Are are you all right? Are you holding me by my tits? Caught you. True. Huh? Hey, don't you think we sound the same? Sound? Our pulses. They sound similar. <laughs> Can't you hear it? Listen to my heart. They're singing the same song with the same rhythm. Like a resonance. This feels so strange. I feel like I've known you for so long. Huh? My name's Coco. What's your name? I'm... Chloe. I'm in Prometheus. A cadet of the 1st Regiment. Coco Kokonoe. I've been assigned to be your guard. Hmm, okay. Chloe, I see. Nice to meet you. I think I've fallen for you at first sight. 
Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. Um. I got it. Pants. The sole purpose of my existence was to fight the Meteoras. And Coco, she taught me emotion. She gave me a reason to live. I wanted to live for Coco. And yet, without Coco, I'm just the same as before. Back to being a doll that fights Meteoras, wanting nothing more than vengeance. Mm. Hey, Chloe. It feels warm when we hold hands, right? That heat, that's real value. I don't need to be able to see, not when I can touch. My life is filled with joy, Chloe. <laughs> this game has some deep depth to it. I liked it. Pistol? What? Gun. I always carry this with me. It's not standard issue from Prometheus either. It can only fire two shots. It's not the best gun. Yeah, here something is Coven's in the... Coven's voice. And... Mine? The sound's coming from this shelf. Oh. It's locked. I think I've seen Coco put the key on another shelf. Uh, shelf? I mean, maybe here. This is not a shelf, it's a cupboard. This isn't the key. Seeds? <laughs> Dahlia seeds. Huh. What are they doing here? Dahlia seeds where the shelf key should have been. Huh. Could that mean... I give the flowers water every day. Keeping Coco's house and the sunroom intact is the reason I keep going. Dahlia. Dahlia Pinata. Dahlia's. Hey. Oh, a key. Okay. It's a key. Is this the key to that shelf? <laughs> Interesting. I still wish you could move the fruity, but oh well. Well, let's see what the hell is this then. There we go. It opened. This is texture vision audio data. It's gone. Huh? The knife. What? That day, I was reading a book. I didn't know what I should read to Coco. So I was memorizing whatever stories I could find. It's snack time, Chloe. I had them make a strawberry cake. Who's them? I hear they call this a shortcake in the old days. It looks great, doesn't <laughs> it? Old days. <laughs> right. I am not allowed unauthorized nutritional intake. Then I'll order you. Oh! Enjoy my snack with- Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you looked positively absorbed in that book. Did you find a fascinating story? I was reading about Hercules. Ah, uh, Hercules. Son of Zeus, the powerful demigod who knew no defeat in battle. What part of the story drew your eye? I thought that his birth was very similar to my own. His birth? The gods created him to aid in the war with the giants. Mm. To use him as a weapon in the Gigantomachia. Like him, I was born to fight. Fight the Meteora. I was designed specifically to pilot a Machia. Hercules was a pioneer of beings born to fight. I believe I have much to learn from him. Born to fight? 
Hey, Chloe, is that true? I've heard you're designed, but... You're a designed. That's a term. The Chloe in front of me now is just a regular person. You don't look like you were designed to fight. My abilities have been designated confidential, but I can reveal them under your authority. Do you wish me to? Please do. I want to know about you, Chloe. Though there may not be differences in my appearance, internally, everything in my body has been edited, right down to my DNA. The greatest difference between humans and myself is my physical abilities. For optimal piloting of the anti-meteora weapon Machia, my senses and reflexes have been greatly enhanced. Okay. Do Machia even need to be piloted by people? Could we not use an arc? A Machia pilot is needed less as a being that controls it, and more as a living body. Like a vessel? Arcs are inept in having mental breakthroughs. Mental breakthrough? Making it necessary for them to pair with humans, Professor Julie explained to me. The mechanic connectors implanted in my body allow me swift coordination with my Machia. Got it. It is my purpose to add a human system to my Machia. Furthermore, to prevent Ark Rebellion, Prometheus Code ensures that only humans have firing access. Would you like additional information on my abilities? I would. Everything my access allows you to tell me. There is another great difference between me and people. My cells have all been modified in a particular way. Hmm? They have? How so? Higher regenerative properties. Oh. I mean, not like... Chloe? No. <laughs> Chloe? No. <laughs> I thought she's gonna be stabbed in the head or something. Wait, did you cut yourself? Why would you do such a thing? There is nothing to worry about. A cut this shallow will heal nearly immediately. This ability allows me to fight for... You can't just cut yourself because you'll heal. Why? Why would you hurt yourself? It must hurt so much. I have a sense of pain, but pain of this level is... If you have a sense of pain, that means it still hurts, right? Technically. Chloe, why? Why would you? Why are you crying? I'm crying because it hurts. Where does it hurt? I don't know. But it really hurts. Uh? It's called empathy, Chloe. That's an emotion. <laughs> How can I alleviate your pain, Miss Coco? If you promise never to treat yourself this poorly again. Hmm. I promise you. I will not hurt myself again. Well, that's nice. Really? Really. I am not sure why, but I do not want to see you sad. Oh. Thank you. For understanding. Hey, Chloe. Could you make me another promise while we're at it? Talk to me more, Chloe. Lots Shit. more. As much and for as long as you can. Do you wish for me to increase my statements given and vocabulary? <laughs> you don't have to think hard about it. What's important is your will. The reason you seem so cold is because you only try to speak the bare minimum. Right. Words guide people. They give rise to feelings, and those feelings change us. <laughs> this game has some interesting twists. I know that your own words are going to change you, Chloe. And that's the reference to Libra. Someone who can say it hurts <laughs> when it hurts, who can cry when she wants to cry. That's the kind of person you'll... I cannot imagine myself crying. Oh no, Chloe. You will cry one day. Damn it. Tears are proof of humanity. Your tears will be beautiful, Chloe. They'll reflect the world's beauty like a mirror. They'll be so beautiful. So much so, I'll want to cry. I have very good ears, Chloe. No matter where I am, I'll always be able to hear your voice. Whenever you cry, I'll come running. I will. 
Huh. It's interesting. At least we have we know the backstory of Coco now. 